Hey everybody, Dr. Schultz with the Centennial Schultz Clinic with another weekly update. This week we're talking about what is a medial collateral ligament sprain. So thanks for checking in and let's get started. The goals of this short presentation are to describe what's a ligament, what exactly is the medial collateral ligament in the knee, what's a sprain, the classification, what are the major symptoms of a medial collateral ligament injury, and what treatment options, specifically regenerative treatment options, that are available to you and family members. So a ligament, in the simplest of terms, is a very thick piece of connective tissue. It spans from bone to bone, so it connects the two, and in doing so, provides critical stability to joints. We have ligaments all throughout our body that are critical to the stability and function. So the medial collateral ligament is basically a ligament on the inside of the knee, otherwise known as medial, and it provides important stability and support. So let's take a look. This is the thigh bone, this is the shin, and it's this piece of duct tape. That's right, duct tape all the way here. It connects the thigh bone to the shin, and doing so provides critical support on the inside, otherwise known as the medial aspect. And I know that you are very familiar with the knee, and there are lots of important ligaments other than the medial collateral ligament. That include the anterior cruciate, the posterior cruciate, and the lateral collateral. But today we're just going to be talking about the medial collateral ligament. So a sprain is simply an injury to a ligament. It can either be a stretch or a tear, and it's categorized based upon the severity of the tear. Of course, like everything else in medicine, it's categorized grade one, grade two, and grade three. And there's a depiction here in the bottom. So this is a normal ligament. And grade one is just a very small injury, typically a stretch injury. Now, grade two is a more severe injury. And as you can see, it involves some tearing of the ligament. And with that, there can be associated uh, instability. Now, the grade three is the most severe injury of the collateral ligament, and that's where it is actually torn apart. It's a complete rupture. What was previously a uniform connection is now broken into two pieces. This is a very severe injury and will require surgery. So the symptoms of a medial collateral sprain vary depending upon the severity of the injury. Is it grade one, two, or three? But typically, it's characterized by pain on the inside. That's right, the inside aspect of the knee. Other symptoms include swelling, reduced uh, range of motion, but also instability, like the, the, the feeling that your knee is going to give way or buckling. Again, this is an important stabilizer, and when it gets injured, you can have subsequent instability. The major causes are a direct uh, blow to the, uh, from the outside of the knee. You know, if we see our younger children playing uh, soccer and other uh, ball sports, have lots of opportunity for injury to ligaments. But it's not uh, also though that group. You can also have incorrect posture, pivoting, uh, overextension, and also just repetition. So any of these can give rise to a medial collateral ligament sprain. Regenerative treatments here at the Centennial Schultz Clinic, we offer treatment for those patients that don't get complete healing with conservative care. We utilize a super concentrated custom uh, platelet rich plasma. Now that's rich in growth factors that can enhance the blood flow and facilitate the healing. And we inject the concentrated platelets under ultrasound guidance directly in to the site of injury for maximal healing. So you can get off the sideline and back in the game. At the Centennial Schultz Clinic, we are experts in the evaluation and treatment of ligament injuries. An, import, uh, an important cornerstone is we stress and insist upon an accurate diagnosis. 
know that with a medial collateral ligament sprain, there may be other injuries, specifically some injury to the meniscus. We are all board certified fellowship trained physicians and treatment options include PRP and bone marrow concentrate. Thank you so much for checking in today. I hope you have a better understanding now of what the medial collateral ligament is in the inside portion of the knee and what a sprain is. We'll see you next week. Thank you.